Hello, hello friends and welcome to my booktube channel. My name is Alex and today I am bursting with excitement to be unboxing my very first Illumicrate box for you guys. been a fan of Illumicrate for a while. I have a few editions of theirs that I have bought secondhand, but I have never been a subscriber before. I was kind of waiting till they got their US distribution center set up. And then it took a few months to get off of the wait list, but we have the January box, which I believe is the Journey's End theme. And you guys, I can't wait to open this. I'm so, so, so excited to get into it. So without further ado, let's see what Illumicrate has for us for January. Give you a little peek inside. So the theme for the month is Journey's End and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see what they've put in this box. So let's check out some of these items. First thing I'm seeing on the top is a card holder and it says it's inspired by Saga, which is something I, I don't know what that is. That's a fandom that I'm not familiar with. <laughs> cute it is like a little mini wallet just for the cards it says i won't buy any more books and then on this side <laughs> we've got a little sphinxy cat and it says lying which is adorable my husband will absolutely hate that because of how true it is about me um but that's really cute i don't know how much use i'm gonna get out of that item it's not like my personal taste and style but that is a useful item if you like that. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, this is the best. We have, sorry, this is so crinkly. I'm gonna get it out of the wrapping. Okay, I'm completely obsessed with this item. We have a little fanny pack that says the Book Eater Society, we eat books, not brains. Um, so obviously inspired by the book eaters. And this is so cute and useful. I will absolutely use this. I love it so much. It has like three different zipper pouches on it. This little front one, a main one, and then a back one up here. It's got the strap, a little design printed on it. I love that it's black and like pretty simple. Um, this is super cute and I'm obsessed with it. Okay, and I'm really feeling the theme here, you know, journeys end. These are great travel items and you can use these together. So. I actually do really like how cohesive that is. We have another sort of fabric-y item here. Okay, so I may have to consult the spoiler card for this one because I'm not totally sure what we're looking at. We've got strings. We've got this cute little design. Maybe it goes this way? I don't know. Leaves, floral, bird. And then on the back, we have these little hooks and a pocket. I'm gonna look at the spoiler card and figure out what this is. Okay, we have figured out that this item is a pencil wrap. So it's like you stick pencils or paint brushes or what, or you could do makeup brushes even probably, whatever you want in these. And they go down, slide down into the pocket and then you can tie it up with these strings and it is inspired by an enchantment of ravens. Kind of interesting that the design goes this way but the item goes this way. Um, I don't know how much use I would get out of this, but it is a cute little item. I like that it's very subtle because again, this isn't a fandom that I love. I read this book, it's not my favorite, but this is not like obnoxiously an enchantment of ravens in any way. It's a very cute design. So another useful item, particularly if you are an artist. Okay, and then I believe our last item before the book is this wood map print from the Devabad trilogy, which is a book that I have not read, a book series I've not read, but it is one that I'm really, really excited for. I own all three of them and I can't wait to get to it. So it'll be nice to have this little cute map to reference while I'm reading. This will be just a cute little decoration on the bookshelves or something along those lines. It does feel a little more cardboardy, particle boardy than I expected it to be, um, but very cute. And it's got like very intricate designs here around the edges. And then our last item is this cutlery kit, 
Inspired by Lord of the Rings. And who doesn't love a Lord of the Rings item? So inside we've got gold and then it looks like we have gold cutlery. <laughs> I love this. So the fork, I don't know if you can see on there, but it says 11 Zs. Very cute and nice like gold plated metal. The spoon says second breakfast. There we go. So cute. The knife has got supper. And then we also have a gold set of chopsticks. So let's see if I can get all of those in there. That is really cute. And then they all go in that cute little case. Very subtle. I really, really love this item. Very cute for like taking your lunch somewhere. It's adorable. I'm a big fan and my husband is gonna think this is so cool. So the last thing that we have here is the book. And you guys, this is a book that I'm really, really excited for. I've kind of gotten a peek at it because it's not inside one of those bags. So interesting. But, and I already knew what this book was gonna be for this month. It is a book that has a stunning cover already. So I was a little bit nervous, like what changes a Woomer Crate was going to make to this book because how could you make it better? It's so gorgeous already. And then Waterstones did an edition that had gorgeous stenciled edges. So I'm really curious to see if Illumicrate is going to live up to that, what they've done to make this edition extra special when there are already some really gorgeous editions out there. So let's take a peek at what they've done. So this month we have God Killer by Hannah Kaner. We have a color change. This is all that I've seen so far is the color change. It is plastic wrapped, so I'll have to get it out in a moment, but, and it's very glary with any light, but they've done a more like purpley sunset design or for the color, it's more like browns and neutrals in the original. I'll pop it up here so you can see it, but I do like this color change. I don't know that it was necessary because the original is so stunning, but let's check out what else they've done. We have normal like purplish, sprayed edges on the top and bottom oh wow oh wow okay I gotta get this out of the plastic so I can just show oh you can see that pretty well look at those edges okay we're getting the plastic off of this to look closer okay so as you can tell I am absolutely blown away by these edges we also have oh a very long double-sided author letter, which is great. But so here is the cover without that annoying plastic wrap. We do have some foil details, which I love. I love a good foiled cover. We have a beautiful soft touch. I actually am really starting to love these colors now that I'm seeing it without the wrapper on it. We have the gold foiling on the side. The back has a quite a long quote on it. If you would like to read it, you can pause it there. But so this is the design that we have moved over onto the edges in really bright, beautiful colors. There's a little bit of bleeding with the colors, but I really don't mind it. This is absolutely stunning. I am a huge fan of how they did this. And it's this rabbit with wings and antlers creature that they have moved over here. And we have these gorgeous foiled end pages with the author's signature on them. I love this new trend of foiled end pages. These are just absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can quite see that, but beautiful, beautiful. And then the same on the back, but obviously minus the signature. And then we have a fully printed hardcover case with some character artwork, which is really pretty. We have just the simple foil on the spine and then this design on the back. Now, personally, I would love for this to also have the title on it. I really prefer if we're gonna have something underneath that it could be displayed without the dust jacket and you would know what book it was. So that's my personal preference, but the artwork is stunning. I think it's really beautiful. It's just not my favorite design choice, but, and I will leave the, the dust jacket on it, but it is really pretty to have this character artwork. I'm excited to get to know these characters and who they are. 
And it looks like we also have our winged horned rabbit here <laughs> as well. So I'm very curious about that. I'm really excited to read this book. From what I know about God Killer by Hannah Kainer, we follow our main character, Kissin, who is a God Killer. This person has been harmed by the gods and now really enjoys her new career of going out and slaughtering gods until one day she comes across a god that she's unable to kill and this god has a companion of a young child and somehow these two end up teaming up I think along with a fourth character and going on some sort of adventure together. I really don't know a ton going into this story but it just sounded like a really fun adult fantasy adventure with some maybe Norse mythology inspiration. And I think it's gonna be one that I'm gonna really enjoy. I think my husband's also gonna like it. So that's fun when we can find a book that we both enjoy and can read and chat about. And I'm so happy to have this stunning edition. I do think that the Waterstones edition is also very, very beautiful, but this is just outstanding. <laughs> I am really impressed with Illumicrate and what they have done with this book. I'm really looking forward to their theme for next month as well. For February's theme, we have Into the Fire. I'm really looking forward to this and the book, all the items. Cannot wait to get that one in my hands and unbox it for you guys. From this box, my absolute favorite item has to be the fanny pack, belt bag, whatever these are called these days. I think it's super fun. It's bookish. I'm gonna use it. I think it's adorable. So great job with this pick, Illumicrate. Overall, I think the items that I will use from this box are this and the little utensils. I think that's really cute. And then the map will get displayed somewhere. So I'd say overall, this is a pretty great box. Not everything is stuff that's for me, but that's gonna be with any box. Not everything's gonna be for me. And I am so impressed with this book. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what Illumicrate does in the future. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for this unboxing today. Let me know down below what you think of these items, if you have a favorite one, and what is your favorite part about this edition? Oh my gosh, this book is so beautiful. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more bookish unboxings and bookish content from me in the future. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.